G'day. In this episode, we are up at Mount Tambourine, which is just north of the Gold Coast. We have just stopped in at the Skywalk, which is a rainforest walk in the, the tree canopy. The amazing thing about this rainforest is that, as you can see behind me, there is really, really tall trees, which makes this rainforest quite unique. The Skywalk is open from 9.30am to 5pm seven days a week. So we've come out to the first part of the Skywalk. I've got Brendan here with me, he's the general manager. Um, Brendan, just tell us a little bit about the walk, um, maybe how high we are off the ground and, and when it was built. Thanks Scott. Uh, Tambourine ran for a Skywalk's a family owned business. Uh, before this, my parents owned the property and we were actually a gourmet restaurant with accommodation. But a lot of our customers like doing the walks around the property. Uh, so we came up with the idea of making it easy and exciting and we came up with the idea of the Skywalk. So it's an all ages walk through the, uh, through the canopy. At the highest points you're 30 metres above Cedar Creek. And the walk's 1.5 kilometres and it usually takes about 45 minutes at a leisurely pace. Awesome. Okay, so I can hear the creek but things are very dry up here at the moment. A little bit dry. Uh, we're, we're waiting for those summer storms to, to refill the rock pools and, yeah. and things. These gum trees, these are unusual in a rainforest. What if we just... Yeah, that's a, a good tree? point you make, Scott. Brilliant point. At here, we're on the first part of the Skywalk Bridge and actually quite a good way because that side is more eucalyptus or sclerophyll forest. And at this point here, it changes dramatically to rainforest species as you go deeper in, and the bridge goes all the way down to Cedar Creek, uh, and it gets um, further and further deeper into the rainforest. But that gives you a huge variety of uh, flora. And just from this bridge, uh, we've identified 110 rare or endangered species. Wow, that is awesome. Well, I've never seen yeah, those sort of trees. They're amazing. Uh, and the rainforest, going into the rainforest, looking forward to that getting deeper, darker, and more rainforesty. Yeah, we'll, we'll follow the bridge along and you can have a look. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. So, Brendan, you're just telling me there's a bit, there's a number of different parts of your business. Tell us about. Well, the, the Skywalk is the, the, uh, the walk which leaves from the main building. So, from the main building, we've got the toilets, which is very important. So, in the eco center, there's the toilets, the cafe where we serve coffees and light snacks and the gift shop and the toilets are there, which is very important. So the walk starts and finishes there, which is very important uh, for people visiting the forest. And they might be uh, locals from Brisbane or the Gold Coast. They might be interstate almost or international. So they know exactly how long the walk's gonna take and it's safe in that respect. But it's also exciting because as I said mm. before, you're up uh, 30 meters above Cedar Creek. Yeah. Yeah. The Skywalk covers most of the circuit, while some of the walk is at ground level, so sturdy walking shoes are recommended. There are seating areas around the walk where you can take a break and just enjoy being in the forest. So we're out on the cantilever um, viewing platform and it really gets a sway here. So if you're not really good with that sort of movement, um, you yeah, just be careful, it's, uh, it's a bit woozy. <laughs> the gift shop has a very talented artist in residence with artwork for sale. Tambourine Mountain Village is at the heart of Tambourine Mountain and features an array of cafes, restaurants and quirky gift shops. So we've come down the main street of Tambourine Mountain and I'm here with Lance. He's got this amazing shop here with all these different cars. So Lance, just tell us about the shop. How'd you start? My wife and I, I had a lot of cars I've been collecting for 20 odd years. My wife says, we started buying and selling on eBay. I said, why, why don't you get a website? So we got the website up and running. 
and then that started doing all right and then my mate Steve was selling his business so we bought that got this shop and here we are Hmm. Amazing collection of cars, um, different models, fantastic, great stuff. There is an amazing amount of collectibles and gifts to see. But it was lunchtime, so we headed off to the Monkey Tree Cafe. This was a nice cafe with an indoor restaurant and an outdoor deck. I had a beef burger with chips and Heather had a corn and zucchini fritter with egg. The food was really good here. After eating, we decided to walk off some energy and check out all the shops along both sides of the streets. There is so much to see here and you could easily spend a good few hours or more going into each of the stores, galleries and other exhibits. The houses and buildings are each unique and the spring gardens were colourful in full display. So Maggie, tell us you've seen you've been here since August. Yes, in the uh, shop. Yeah. Yep. Tell us about the uh, shop. I um, came over here nearly twenty years ago, and I, my background is law enforcement, mm -hmm. and I uh, retired from that two years ago, and I wanted to um, create a happy place. So um, this is where we're at. A happy place. Everybody comes in here smiling. Yeah. You don't have to spend any money to be smiling, mm. dancing. Some people are dancing. Oh, wow. And I hope it smells like Christmas, looks like Christmas, sounds like Christmas. Yeah. yeah. And um, I come to work every day on my own bar, so I wear my slippers, don't we sell? Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Mrs. And about trends. I sell them here and I wear them all day at work and I can recommend them because I wear them all day. Alright, so up in Mount Tambourine, here at Christmas on Tambourine, fantastic little shop. Pop in and say good day to Maggie. Um, she loves the chat and some fantastic Christmas decorations in there. Awesome. There are a number of different breweries and glass studios down the main street. But this clock shop was amazing. The clocks in here were really, really nice, but they were also very pricey. This is some excellent craftsmanship though. So if you do come to Brisbane or the Gold Coast, the Tambourine Mountain Village is well worth the day trip. Put it on your list.
The Curtis Falls Trail is an amazing walk with some impressively huge trees. Unfortunately, Curtis Falls was really dry, but we do understand that it is normally a beautiful curtain waterfall well worth the walk. So be sure to check it out when you're in the area. It was late afternoon when we arrived at the Tambourine Mountain Botanic Gardens. These gardens are amazing. They reminded us both of the Mount Tomar Gardens in Sydney's Blue Mountains and the Cairns Botanical Gardens in far north Queensland. The mixture of mountain climate plants and tropical gardens worked really well. We hope you enjoyed that episode up at Mount Tambourine. Uh, we don't know where we're going next, but we know we want to spend those minutes with mates.